The Judeo-Arabic languages Arabic, Urbit Yaudit Hebrew, Urbit Yaudit are a continuum of specifically Jewish varieties of Arabic formerly spoken by Arab Jews, i.e. Jews who had been Arabized. The term Judeo-Arabic can also refer to Classical Arabic written in the Hebrew script, particularly in the Middle Ages. Many significant Jewish works, including a number of religious writings by Saadia Gaon, Maimonides and Judah Halevi, were originally written in Judeo-Arabic as this was the primary vernacular language of their authors. Characteristics <laughs> 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 The Arabic spoken by Jewish communities in the Arab world differed slightly from the Arabic of their non-Jewish neighbors. These differences were partly due to the incorporation of some words from Hebrew and other languages and partly geographical, in a way that may reflect a history of migration. For example, the Judeo-Arabic of Egypt, including in the Cairo community, resembled the dialect of Alexandria rather than that of Cairo Blau. Similarly, Baghdad Jewish Arabic is reminiscent of the dialect of Mosul. Many Jews in Arab countries were bilingual in Judeo-Arabic and the local dialect of the Muslim majority. Like other Arab languages and dialects, Judeo-Arabic languages contain borrowings from Hebrew and Aramaic. This feature is less marked in translations of the Bible, as the authors clearly took the view that the business of a translator is to translate. Topic: <laughs> Dialects. Topic: Judeo Iraqi, Judeo Baghdadi, Judeo Moroccan, Judeo Tripolitanian, Judeo Tunisian, Judeo Yemeni History Jews in Arabic, Muslim majority countries wrote sometimes in their dialects, sometimes in a more classical style in a mildly adapted Hebrew alphabet rather than using the Arabic script, often including consonant dots from the Arabic alphabet to accommodate phonemes that did not exist in the Hebrew alphabet. Some of the most important books of medieval Jewish thought were originally written in medieval Judeo-Arabic, as well as certain halakhic works and biblical commentaries. Later they were translated into medieval Hebrew so that they could be read by contemporaries elsewhere in the Jewish world, and by others who were literate in Hebrew. These include Sadia Gaon's Amunoth ve Dioth, originally Kitab Alamanit Walatkadit, his Tafsir, Biblical Commentary and Translation, and Siddur, Explanatory Content, not the prayers themselves. Solomon ibn Gabaral's Tikkun Mido ha Nefesh, Baya ibn Pakuda, S Kitab al Hadaya ila Farah, Id al Club, translated by Judah ben Saul ibn Tibbin as Chovit Halevavo, Judah Halevi's Kuzari. Maimonides' commentary on the Mishnah, Sefer Hamitzvah, The Guide for the Perplexed, and many of his letters and shorter essays. Most communities also had a traditional translation of the Bible into Judeo Arabic, known as a shar. Meaning. For more detail, see Bible translations into Arabic. The term shar sometimes came to mean Judeo Arabic, in the same way that Targum was sometimes used to mean the Aramaic language. Present day Topic. In the years following the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, the end of the Algerian War, and Moroccan and Tunisian independence, most Mizrahi and Sephardi Jews in Arab countries left, mainly for mainland France and for Israel. Their distinct Arabic dialects in turn did not thrive in either country, and most of their descendants now speak French or modern Israeli Hebrew almost exclusively, thus resulting in the entire continuum of Judeo-Arabic dialects being considered endangered languages. This stands in stark contrast with the historical status of Judeo-Arabic. In the early Middle Ages, speakers of Judeo-Arabic far outnumbered the speakers of Yiddish. There remain small populations of speakers in Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Lebanon, Yemen, Israel and the United States. Orthography See also Judeo-Berber language Judeo-Iraqi Arabic Baghdad Jewish Arabic 
Judeo-Moroccan Arabic Judeo-Tunisian Arabic Judeo-Yemeni Arabic Judeo-Syrian Arabic Letter of the Karaiti Elders of Ascalon Endnotes Bibliography Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Alan Corey's Judeo-Arabic literature site. Judeo-Arabic literature. Reka Kol Yisrael, a radio station broadcasting a daily program in Judeo-Moroccan Arabic. Jewish language research website, description and bibliography.